Wow, today has been a crazy day for Apple. So here's what happened. It started off pretty sorrowful. Unfortunately, one of Apple's main founders, Bill Campbell, died today, and obviously the entire internet has been collectively saying, why did you make the MacBook pink? Why didn't you add another USB-C port? Why doesn't it support Thunderbolt 3? Why don't the buttons go down all the way? Yeah, it's been pretty crazy. So without any press release, Apple updated the 12-inch MacBook with Retina display, and emotions are all over the place because the rose gold people love it, and the professionals hate it, and I'm here to tell you, stop hating it. Sales for this thing weren't too bad. Apple was overall pleased with the reception they got from it. Not from the professionals, but people bought it. At the college I attend, I see them all over the place, which surprises me, because us techies know for writing papers, looking at Facebook, and just surfing the web, you don't need a $1,300 device. But for some reason, a lot of people out there still care about portability, design elegance, and their operating system, which to the average consumer, Consumer, a lot of them just want a simple OS. And as an Apple sheep, I have to say OS 10 is easier to use than that crazy Windows 10 or anything Microsoft's ever made, really. So let me reference you haters. Every complaint I've heard is kind of adding up. First of all, you want more than one port. I don't want to have to get an adapter to plug all these things into it. Okay, point. Second point, maybe I'm okay with USB Type-C, but at least have more than one port. That way I can charge and import and plug in a monitor at the same time. Point, sure. Why doesn't it have an Intel i5 or i7 chip. Why can't it have a full speeding core? Well, congratulations, all you haters. That product exists. It's called the MacBook Pro. It's been around for over a year now. You, If you want that, buy that. So once again, I have to bring up the old prescription for all the haters called do not buy this. This is so simple sometimes. Apple has made their profits most of the time just from appealing to everyday people, not to professionals. Lots of professionals love their products, but the professionals are a minority. A ton of people just want a laptop that look at Pinterest, Facebook, maybe take some pictures and view them on that laptop, which now with the iPhone's gorgeous camera, you can airdrop to them. No importing. You know what? Basic people don't need all that stuff. So if the MacBook 12 inch version had all those extra things, what would be the point of the MacBook Pro? Why would they make the exact same product again? Why don't they just differentiate each laptop? To me, this makes perfect sense. Everyday consumers that just want a very light and portable laptop, which this thing is incredibly light and has a beautiful design, has an easy to use trackpad. When people are playing around in Apple store, they go to that thing. They're like, yeah, this is nice and easy. It's going to go on my coffee table. And they updated the battery life too, guys. So people are happy with that. That's why this thing is selling. If it wasn't selling, they wouldn't update it. Now that they've made some profits, they're like, oh, okay, now we can put in the higher end processors, which by the way is insane that something can have a 1.3 gigahertz core, but then turbo boost to 3.1. I'm sure I could look up a way on how that's possible, but I don't want to. So just comment below how that works because I honestly want to know. So if you're complaining about this, just realize it's not for you. If you're watching this, you're probably not an everyday consumer. You're probably a techie like me. I will not be buying this because I need something that can edit very high resolution video and that can't, and that's okay. I wouldn't want to pay full price for something that has a bunch of specifications on the inside that I never use, because I guarantee you those people are out there. This is Johnny Ives' design of a laptop. And if we had like a pie chart representing Johnny Ives' design importance next to product activity, he would be like 95% design. He just wants things to look pretty, and I'm sure that was his vision with this thing. Didn't really care about functionality. And everyday consumers is a much larger market than what someone like the Surface Book would be aimed towards. The Surface Book is aimed towards graphical engineers who design 3D stuff who need all the power in computer processing they can, and also need a stylus, and also need portability. That's a very narrow audience that I don't understand. However, one of them was a commenter, we had a very pleasant exchange over the internet, to which I replied, wow, here's the one person who finds the Surface Book useful. Anyway, there are tons of people out there that love that MacBook, and today they got the battery life improved, they got the processor improved, and they got rose gold. I'm not a fan of rose gold, but relax, okay? They made rose gold so it could match the iPad rose gold, so it could match the iPhone rose gold, so it could match the Apple Watch rose gold. There you go. It's for OCD people. So those are my thoughts and opinions on the new MacBook. I think everyone should just accept maybe if something isn't right for you, it's not a crappy product. It's just meant for someone else. And when the MacBook Pro comes out later this year, I'm sure it'll have more than one port. And if it does, I'll be pretty upset. And I'll still buy it. Please come in space gray though. That way it can match all my stuff. All right, that's enough. This is your Apple Sheep here, and I will see you in the next one.